The Port Adelaide situation, first of all on Ken Hinckley, where are you on this? Collingwood didn't help on the weekend. No, it, it didn't. Well, I, Put I th- your name to this. Like, do, do, <laughs> you are a Port Adelaide great. You dance around this every week. No, I, I don't. Do you want him to coach your team next year? I think that decision comes at the end of the year. No, After, don't give you can't, me the you general... Can't, you can't don't, do don't it now. You've, you've, got to, you've got to put it into context. You've got three what, weeks to go there, Mr. Files, the end of the season. He hasn't yeah. had a Ruckman all year. He's had 15 surgeries at the club. They started 0-5. and five. They have not once given up on the season. They've lost, I think, nine games by under 12 points. So you want him to coach you've got to, Yeah, I would be not upset if he coached next not year. Not what I asked you. Do you want him to coach the team next year? Um, I need to make that decision when I have the full oh, facts in front of me at the end of the year. I can't believe you skirt... You and others. It doesn't What's all have to be about Kane, the, the record well, holder, whatever. What's your gut? What's your gut feeling? I know You've got that, a good I don't read think, on these I don't think Ken Hinckley is sure whether he's going to be next there next year. I don't. I mean, I think he'd like to be, but I don't think he's. What? I don't think he thinks he's over the line. And it's really interesting that David Koch, who is an outspoken media performer as a president, he's not a big mouth, but he, he says a lot, and he's spoken in the past about the coaching situation. He's barely spoken about Ken Hinckley this year. He needs to. Would what that what worry more you? could you see in the next three weeks? Yeah. What, what yeah. is there still to see? Yeah. No, well, I need it. Who else is out there? Like, if, if, if Clarkson is there, Kingsley, if, if is Ross Lyon... No, if, if it's Ken Hinckley versus Adam Kingsley, it's Ken Hinckley What about what Craig McRae did, though? A fresh yeah, voice in there. I understand there. that, and that may be beneficial for them. And I actually like the list. I, I love what I've seen from some of their young players. But... I understand that, Hutchie, they have, but, but you, that doesn't give you the full context. Their percentage is really healthy and the group love him and I'm told that there would be up to six or seven players that would be really upset And I don't think leave. GWS is out of the woods with Ken Hinckley either. David Koch did, however, speak about the prison bar jumper the other day. Two weeks ago, the Collingwood president, Jeff Brown, rang me out of the blue and said, Koshy, look, mate, we're taking your request really seriously. I'm putting it to my board next week, and I don't want to get your hopes up. I'm quietly confident we could have good news for you. And I can't help but feel that we've been played in this for being nice. Well, he mounts a pretty good argument, doesn't he, that they were played? Yeah, but well, once again, he's got bigger fish. To, like, the, the prison bar is good and the fans are passionate about it, but what's happening with the coach? When are you going to make a decision on that? I want to hear Koshy, who, as you said, has been one of the more outspoken presidents. He hasn't addressed his future. Uh, Craig McRae, coach of the year. I think, uh, I'm not sure if they give it out. Oh, no, Chris Scott's coach nah, of the year. No, I think when you go from 17th to top four... That, to me, is Coach of the Year. But uh, the last ten weeks, just want to take a look at some of the wins that they've had. And we all know what they've been doing with these comebacks. So I want to see this week a ruthless Melbourne. Uh, If they get behind by 20 points, it could, the damn wall could break. So I reckon you can uh, paper some cracks, you know, uh, paper over the cracks a little bit here. With, you know, that Essendon performance wasn't great, but they got over the line, but they backed it up again this week. So I think Melbourne are going to come out steaming. If they beat... Melbourne this week, they're the real deal, but I think they're up against it.